Hey everybody, this is Clarence from 2items.com. This is going to be a brief detailed version of how to install firmware on your Android TV box. The reason why I'm doing this today is because I played around with Megatron and some other OS's and um, I couldn't install certain applications such as the CNN Android TV app. When I went to the Play Store, it just simply told me that this application is not compatible with your current device. So what I wanted to do is um, I tried to use the recovery mode technique with the SD card to install the previous version or the stock version of this uh, firmware. It told me hey you're not allowed to go install a previous version of the OS using this method so I'm stuck I am only options to do what I did when I unbricked this device and that is to short out the pins and use that application to manually push down the Android TV box firmware so that's what we're going to do today and I'm going to show you with a little bit of janky camera work so let's get started and since my other video I told you that this one of these pins right in here but this time I'm going to try to show you um, how it works how to do it so you need a mail to mail so this end on both sides one is going into my computer and remember I said we're going to go into the single port plug that in and what you're going to see is hard to see here but this light just turned on this red light just turned on right here I'll show you something else I probably could have done earlier but in the app I'm going to go to the file import image and I'm going to have to install or load the image that I downloaded from the website. Okay, all right, so this is it. So I'm going to highlight it, highlight the image, the MX112K4, hit that, and it's going to start loading the image into this interface. So, like I said, down here, this is in Chinese, so I'm going to click his, just make sure that's in English. And it doesn't really show you anything on the screen, but the image is in, is in fact loaded. It shows you at the bottom here says that it's loaded so I'm gonna keep playing with this these pins I'm just gonna keep walking down ah there we go see and it says success on the screen take about now it's up to 41 seconds. It usually takes like three minutes. Now that you see the options that I have selected, I selected force erase all. Um, there, this is an actual drop down box. There's an arrow here. When you click, right now I can't click it because it's, it's running, but uh, you can actually click that and change it from regular erase to force erase all. And that will allow you to download them all. So what I've actually done is um, hit the hit the pin. I've started walking down these pins on the board until I hit the pin that uh, it's right about. Right about here, one of these pins will cause the light to actually go out. There's a red light, like I said, down here. Yeah, there it is. There's a red light. That red light will go out when you hit the right pin. Then I went directly to the next set of pins to the left. So going this way at the right. So I hit that one, bing, the light went out, and boom, I went right to the next slot and the light came on and then what you heard was that noise that windows usually makes when it recognizes a usb device um and then you saw on the screen it says download now it that changed to um connection successful and then all i did was hit the button on the right hand side that said connect and that was it now it's downloading. I removed it. Now, the first time I did this, I thought I had to hold this pin device. I thought I had to hold this in place, but it looks like you do not need to hold that in place because right now, obviously, I'm not holding anything in place and it's still running. So I think you just need to trigger, hit that, hit that pin to force it to recognize the device as a USB device. Then you can remove the metal um, short, stop it, stop shorting it out. And it just runs. And now it says 100% burn successful. And I now have the firmware installed. And that's it. So hopefully this little uh, quick 
tutorial will help solve you know some of the problems that people were having um, as you can see I ran into some problems you can see down here I got some errors all I did was just kept redoing it over and over again and it actually worked so it takes some time um, to get it right but um, it does work so I hope this helps thanks see ya